Hello world, this is Lockpicking Dev. Today I have something interesting for you. They are Cloaked Entry Co's Twist Picks. And what they are, are handles that are, or picks that have a twisted shaft in them. So like that. So the handle that's normally this way and the pick facing straight up and down, like this, is twisted on its side. And the reason being is to make it easier to pick with your thumb and finger to make it more comfortable as opposed to this right here. So it's on the sides here where this is nice on the flat parts. And also um, to say make raking a little bit better as well. Um, let me demonstrate how they perform. So I have a model uh, Master 575 here. This is standard pin, no... Um, no security pins in it. So there we go. Let me get a good angle here. There we go. And you can see the flex just as I'm trying to press already. And I'm trying to remember on this lock, I got to keep a small amount of, or I mean, minimal pressure pressure on the turning tool because this is a dead core, it doesn't have any spring pressure in it, so I'm trying to be mindful of that at the same time. Feels like I got three in one. Like four. You almost got it. Yeah, I noticed the flex there. And when I put it further back, there's obviously a lot more flex there. But yeah, you typically hold your pick up here. Let's see. I'm going to give just one more second here. But you can see that flex there, even just as I'm trying to go, normally go through this with the way I normally pick. And it's a good amount of flex. And so after picking, here is about the result of that flex. I've used this pick three times. I have not bent it back at all. Um, yep, yeah, that's the result of that. So uh, single pin picking three times about that. Uh, about six times. Uh, it's this pick. This one has a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more to it, and I have bent this one back. Um, and I think this one is even bent back a little bit at the moment. Uh, let's show you raking. Because I can see that having a little bit of flex could prevent us from, while raking, not applying too much pressure um, up to accidentally overset pins. So I could see that as an argument for the flex of things. And I have definitely popped this with the rake a couple times. And one thing I would say about with the rake, though, with that flex, is still, it's going to bend. And with a raking force, it's going to bend a lot um, more quicker, I think, with people because they usually use a lot more force going in and out with this. And that's typically, yeah, going to be the result. Anyways, I haven't used the rake a whole lot. I'd say five times, so it's actually looking pretty decent for the rake. The reason why, um, even with all the criticism, because yes, they do perform exactly as you'd expect with the bendiness and staying bent. Um, the one thing I do appreciate about it is that I have found situations where I would actually really like a pick in this orientation to pick coming at me like that. That would feel pretty good in certain situations. And the situation was typically bottom of the keyway tension when I'm picking on camera. So it's facing away from me like that and trying to pick coming at me like this. So what I made is a, a pick with the handle sideways. So now it's perfect on my hands in a nice relaxed position as I'm doing the bottom of the keyway here and I have my pick over here can pick towards me as needed. And so let me show you the pick real quick. What I did was I took two pieces of wood that way and I took my pick metal, I got it nice and thin, made a valley for it in the wood, stuck it between it or in both pieces of wood, clamped them down, glued it there and put the pins on both sides and on the end and there we go. So it's a sideways profile pick or our handle 
like the twisted like the twist pick except for the shaft isn't bent. Let's see if we can get this open with this real quick. Well, I'll show you what I mean at least anyways. So yeah, it's my hands in a nice rested position like this with bottom of the QA and I can go in and pick like this. And let's zoom in. So I can pick towards me like that and I can lever off that turning tool at the bottom too, which is very helpful. Almost got it, I think. Is that pin one? Yeah, there we go, pin one. But yeah, it's it's super comfortable. It's a nice, relaxed position for both my hands. The movement of picking up and down like this with this flat handle on it, it, it feels nice. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. So I'm wondering if this type of handle would be um, actually useful in some other situations as well. In this particular situation, I'm wondering too is if it would be um, Euros, uh, people that pick over in um, Europe in that area, in the EU area, they typically pick locks upside down. So I wonder if that would be a little bit better for them because, especially, well, they're probably not holding their locks and hands a whole lot because those Euros, yeah, you're not pulling, holding your hands, so the angle wouldn't be too different. But yeah, I'm just curious. So I. My moral of the story is I, I really like that they came out with these and um, did them anyway, uh, despite the criticism, because it enabled me to uh, see something really cool and something that, oh, uh, this might feel really good because I've literally encountered a situation where this angle would be really helpful with this uh, angle of handle. So yeah, um, I wonder if anybody else will make a sideways angled handle in uh, response, because... <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen these picks around a whole lot. So, yeah, uh, give it a shot and see what you think. The This pick works just fine. It'll last you forever. That's just a little different. So who knows if you'll use it, if you'll enjoy it or not. But, um, yeah, highly recommend if you're a pick maker, give this a shot. And uh, let us know how you feel about it. Anyways, these are the Cloaked Entry Co. Twisted, or Twist Picks. Yeah. All right. Thanks for coming out with these, Cloak Entry Co. I'm uh, glad you took the leap. Uh, really cool. Um, everybody else, thanks for watching.